ladies and gentlemen. I would like to call upon the conference speaker, Professor Dr. Peter Sammons from University College London to deliver conference speech. The Honourable President of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, His Excellency Mohammed Abdul Hamid, the Honourable Minister of Education, Dr. Dibu Mani, distinguished guests, and conference <coughs> delegates. I'm delighted to be here and thank Professor Maxud Kamal and the organizing committee for the invitation and the faculty of the Earth and Environmental Sciences at the University of Dhaka for hosting the conference. This conference will address how the Earth, Environmental Sciences and Technology contribute to sustainable development. So let's us begin by asking what is sustainable development? This may best be referred to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, the UN SDGs. The 17 SDGs were adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015 as a universal call to act in order to end poverty, protect the planet, ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. The goals recognize that action and development must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability. The SDGs are accompanied by a pledge to leave no one behind, to bring world, the world to zero poverty, hunger, AIDS, and to end the discrimination against women and girls. We can see how the six themes of this conference, the blue economy, the development of geo resources, disaster resilience, population dynamics, meteorology and climate change, and delta processes map on the UN SDGs. I want to review briefly the conference scientific and technological themes and how they relate to the sustainable development goals and sustainable development. So theme one, the blue economy. So after the settlement of the maritime boundary, with the neighboring countries, the Bangladesh government has taken initiatives for blue economic growth. For this, Bangladesh would need to invest in oceanographic education and research and look for harnessing living and non living resources from the Bay of Bengal and should start the marine spatial planning process for sustainable ocean governance. Theme two development of geo-resources. Bangladesh is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. In order to achieve the SDGs, uninterrupted power supply is essential for growing industry and infrastructure development. Natural gas has been the most important energy source in the country for decades, and the demand for gas has outpaced its supply resulting in fast depletion of crude reserves and an energy crisis seems looming. But Bangladesh has great potential for further hydrocarbon development, thus reducing the need for imported energy. At the same time, Bangladesh has achieved highest growth in off-grid solar energy and exploitation, with millions of impoverished people uplifting their standard of life by using solar home systems. Expansion of renewable energy use may help Bangladesh achieve better energy security in line with the UN SDGs. Goal six of the SDGs speaks to clean water and sanitation, which is targeted to achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all by 2030. There are challenges to achieve this goal for Bangladesh, which could be further aggravated due to possible adverse impacts of climate change on water resources of the country. If not properly addressed, the environment and ecosystem of the country will be severely affected, which will hinder the targets of achieving the SDGs. So proper scientific inputs are necessary to improve management of water resources of Bangladesh by undertaking action research projects with global collaborations. Theme three, disaster resilience. Bangladesh is a hotbed of disasters where natural 
and the human-made disasters are setting back its development and economic growth. In order to ensure sustainable development, Bangladesh needs to be disaster resilient. <coughs> Although the country has made substantial progress in terms of managing disaster efficiently, still it lacks the capacity to observe, absorb shocks from all types of disasters. However, this can be achieved through engagement of the scientific and technological interventions and innovations by understanding the hazard science, risk modeling, developing early warning systems, and contingency planning. In addition, proper blending between scientific knowledge and society will help to make communities more disaster resilient. Just now, it's now time to mention a cross cutting theme and that of uh, gender. With the University of Dhaka, I am a part of a networking project building gender responsive resilience, which aims to embed gender resilience, thinking, policy making, uh, and, and practice uh, through better understandings of the drivers of gender inequality. Theme four, meteorology. SDG goal 11. Climate Action speaks to the conference theme, meteorology, weather, forecasting, and applications. As Bangladesh is highly vulnerable to extreme meteorological events, which threaten not only the lives and livelihoods of people, but retard the speed of development in the country. In order to minimize the loss of life and damages to infrastructure and agriculture through the frequent attack of high impact weather disturbances, Bangladesh needs reliable and dependable short, medium, and long term weather forecasts and weather alert systems. And in the year of the United Nations Climate Change Con Conference, COP26, taking place in Glasgow in the UK this year, uh, attention to climate change needs to be a top priority for the government of Bangladesh. <coughs> theme 5, Deltas. The conference themes, Delta Process Management. Whose focus includes the deltas of Ganges, Brahmaputra, Meghna, will facilitate the promotion of the SDGs using understanding of natural cultural heritage. Theme six population dynamics. There's now emerging evidence of climate driven migration from the coastal areas of Bangladesh. In the conference theme, environmental perspectives on population dynamics and regional development. Fertility, mortality, and migration are linked to social justice, economic development, and sustainable environment for holistic regional development. This has seen dramatically in southeast Bangladesh and Cox's Bazaar, where the local population is hosting a million Rohingya who have been enforced across the border from Myanmar by the Burmese army in what the UN has described as crime against humanity. But well, this excess has also brought severe environmental degradation, the potential for conflict with local host populations, and placed Rohingya, the Rohingya in a high state of vulnerability for numerous natural hazards threaten the area, such as cyclones, flooding, and landslides. For my own research, with partners at the University of Dhaka, including Professor Maksud Kamal, the Department of Disaster Management, Professor Imtiaz Ahmed, the Centre for Genocide Studies, along with my UCL colleague, Dr. Bayez Ahmed. We have three projects on the Rohingya Exodus, funded by the British Academy and the Royal Society. First, examining the conditions of the Rohingya and their demand for citizenship in Myanmar. Secondly, the journeys of violence and resilience to Bangladesh, India, and Malaysia. And thirdly, developing a landslide early warning system for Rohingya and the local population in Cox's Bazaar. And this week, with the, uh, the important judgment from the International Court of Justice in The Hague, now holds out the prospect of justice for Rohingya. And uh, the court has also, of course, called on Myanmar to stop genocidal acts. So, in conclusion, I think to achieve the government of Bangladesh goal for becoming the Bangladesh becoming a developed nation by 2041, it is necessary to explore and exploit the natural resources within its maritime boundaries, develop risk sensitive land use plans, 
and advanced. Multi has an early warning system. Implement the Bangladesh plan, Delta plan 2100. Prioritize gender equality and keeping strong global and regional collaboration and cooperation. But it also will require substantial investment from the government of Bangladesh at the University of Dhaka, specifically in the earth and environmental sciences to facilitate necessary expertise, development and scientific innovation. The government of Bangladesh will also take special initiatives to escalate the global ranking of the University of Dhaka by substantially investing in research funding, higher studies, international collaboration, and increasing international students and faculty, and maintaining academic reputation. Across all the conference themes, we can see the importance and topicality of the conference. There are cutting edge sciences which have impacts on society, lives, and livelihoods of its members. The earth and environmental sciences and technology have the potential to make huge contributions to sustainable development in Bangladesh and the international arena. I do not believe this, I do believe this conference will promote research collaborations amongst national, regional and international communities. And I'm also delighted to see uh, the large number of early career researchers here at this conference. And I wish everybody a successful and enjoyable conference. Thank you. Thank you so much for